Princess Kate too terrified to do anything but grinning photo ops, Scobie book claims. Omid Scobie's new book portrays Princess Kate as too terrified to do anything but grinning photo opportunities. Princess Kate is portrayed as a woman too scared to do anything but grinning photo opportunities in a new book by royal author Omid Scobie. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. In an interview published on Sunday, November 26, to promote Endgame, Scobie said the small achievements seen from the Princess of Wales wouldn't perhaps be noticed if they came from another royal family member but with Kate it's like wow. Scobie, in another cruel jibe against the future queen, said Kate is infantilized massively so the bar is always lower. The Sunday Times reports that in the book, which hit the shelves on Tuesday, Kate is portrayed as a woman too terrified to do anything more than grinning photo ops. This is despite the princess's awareness-raising work on the importance of early childhood, which saw Kate launch the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood in 2021. Kate also champions children's mental health and well-being besides being patron of a number of organizations, including the National Portrait Gallery, the V&A and the Royal Photographic Society. Extracts also paint an unflattering picture of King Charles and Prince William made in the book by a man who has been dubbed Meghan's mouthpiece due to the partial way he has written about the Sussexes. The Prince and Princess of Wales are said in the book to have enjoyed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle being satirized in the US sitcom South Park. Endgame also suggests William disliked Meghan from the very beginning, according to leaked excerpts from the book. Scobie also claims King Charles feels jealous about William's position, believing the next in line to the throne will have more time to rejuvenate the monarchy. It comes as King Charles reportedly thought Harry was a fool after the release of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Netflix docuseries earlier this year. Scobie, 42, who previously co-authored a biography of the Sussexes, has insisted in an interview with the Times he was not her, Meghan's, friend. He said, I have mutual friends with Meghan, and that definitely helps with getting information and breaking details. Harry and Meghan are described in the book as being in a good place, while it claims the future of the royal family is in a crisis. Scobie told the Times, that crisis being a lack of interest from young people, an apathy, a growing Republican movement, questions over whether the family still uphold the morals and values of the crown that the Queen did such a great job of. Further claims in the book include William allegedly ignoring texts from Harry when members of the family were making their way to Balmoral before the late Queen died last year, and that King Charles and Meghan exchanged letters in the wake of her interview with Oprah Winfrey. The alleged letters are said to reveal the identity of two people the Duchess claimed in the TV interview to have aired concerns about the color of then unborn Prince Archie's skin. According to the Times, the book also claims Meghan sends the monarch photos of Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, and that she and Harry recorded a video of them singing Happy Birthday for their grandfather this month.